Happy Halloween guys! In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the MMORPGs that died recently. MMOs that shut down in 2022 and 2023. And with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. First up, Gloria Victis. It's an MMORPG officially released on Steam in February 8, 2023, but was on early access since 2016. I played this in 2021 if I'm correct, but I decided not to show it because the game still needs improvement and based on their website, the developers of Gloria Victis announced that the current Glory season will be the final one. Financial challenges, game identity preservation, and the team burnout have led to this decision. The game will end on October 31, 2023 with no community hosted server option due to its complex infrastructure. They thank the community, the development team, and their families for their support over the years. If you're not familiar with Gloria Victis, it's an MMORPG with an emphasis on realism. Set in a low fantasy medieval open world, it's a decent MMORPG but it still needs a lot of improvements. And with what's happening, I guess, rest in peace Gloria Victis. Next MMO that shut down is Swords of Legends Online. Ah, this one is such a waste. Graphics is top notch, but the gameplay could use a ton of improvements. By the way, Swords of Legends Online is one of the rare non pay to win MMORPG. It's fair, but it wasn't enough to make people play it. And if you're not familiar with Swords of Legends Online, it's an action MMORPG with a unique storyline based on Chinese mythology. In Swords of Legends Online, players can choose from various classes and embark on quests, engage in PvE battles against powerful monsters, participate in PvP combat, and explore a world filled with breathtaking landscapes and beautifully rendered dungeons. The game incorporates elements of traditional MMO gameplay including character customization, skill progression, crafting, and guild systems. Now, going to Swords of Legends Online's Steam page, they describe their game as an action MMORPG set in a breathtaking fantasy world with sophisticated combat mechanics. Swords of Legends Online is a visually stunning MMORPG that captivates players with its breathtaking graphics and engaging combat system. The game features vibrant environments, detailed character designs, and visually striking effects. The combat system offers a dynamic and action-oriented experience, allowing players to execute fluid combos, unleash powerful skills, and engage in both PvE and PvP battles. The combination of stunning graphics and immersive combat mechanics creates a captivating gameplay experience for players. However, it is important to note that graphics and combat are not the only aspect that defines an MMO. You also need to have a stable server, frequent content updates, and in my opinion, regular advertisements, which Swords of Legends Online on Steam is definitely lacking on. Swords of Legends Online was released on Steam on July 9, 2021 and was shut down in June 30, 2023. Okay, next up, this one shut down generally in 2023 and 2022 with each of the regional servers shutting down consecutively. And the last server I saw shut down was the Southeast Asian server and if you're not familiar with Elyon, it's an action MMORPG in a fantasy setting. Formerly known as Ascent Infinite Realm, in Elyon, players can choose from 6 different classes with 4 races and engage in activities such as questing, crafting, and PvP combat. Progression in Elyon is like in most MMORPGs, you do quests, hunt monsters, and level up. There's a main quest, and subquests are required to get to a certain level to progress the main quest. Going to Elyon's old Steam page, they describe their game as an open-world action combat MMORPG set in the continent of Heart, where the two sovereign realms, Vulpin and Antari, are at war for control of a portal that leads to paradise. Now, the main feature of Elyon is PvP. It features both open-world PvP and instance PvP modes. Players can engage in large-scale faction-based battles in the open world or compete in a smaller team-based battles in arenas or battlegrounds. The game also has a siege mode where guilds can battle for control of a castle and its surrounding territory. PvP in Elyon is gear-dependent, with players needing to acquire and upgrade powerful gear to compete at higher levels. Elyon C was shut down on April 27, 2023. Fourth MMORPG that shut down is Crowfall. If you're not familiar with Crowfall, it's created by Artcraft. It's a fantasy MMORPG that focuses on PvP gameplay in large-scale sieges. And according to the developers, it's a Throne War PC MMO. 
I played this in 2022 and I remember having fun. And I also remember seeing this game as buy to play. And I think because of that barrier, most people ignore this. I plan to play this in 2023, but when I checked it out on their website, according to this, Crowfall is temporarily shutting down to shift their focus from daily operations to game development. The primary challenge has been the extensive effort required for maintaining the game. During this downtime, they plan to revamp the game in various aspects with no options off the table. And as of the making of this video, the game is still down and I can safely say that this MMO is done because the competition is just way better. Crowfall was released in July 6, 2021 and was taken offline in November 22, 2022. Next MMORPG that just died is Forsaken World. It shut down primarily because of the publisher, Gearbox Publishing, formerly known as Perfect World Entertainment. They felt that there was no longer a room for the game to flourish and grow, so they shut it down. They basically mean they're not making any more money. And if you're not familiar with Forsaken World, it's a tap target MMORPG in a fantasy setting. In Forsaken World, players can enter a world filled with various races, classes, and creatures. The game offers a range of character customization options, allowing players to create unique avatars. Players can also embark on quests, engage in PvP battles, join guilds, and explore a vast fantasy world. Now going to the old Forsaken World art games website, which we can now only access through the Wayback Machine, they describe Forsaken World as a popular free-to-play MMORPG from Perfect World Entertainment, set in an online fantasy world featuring vampires and hardcore PvP. One of the highlights of Forsaken World is its multiple playable races and classes. The game provides a diverse selection of playable races including humans, elves, dwarves, vampires, and lichens. Each race has its own strengths and abilities. Additionally, players can choose from a variety of classes such as warriors, mages, assassins, and more, allowing for different playstyles and strategies. Forsaken World was released in March 11, 2011, and was shut down in November 30, 2022. Next MMO that died recently is Eternal Magic. Now this one I remember playing 4 years ago and it felt like a mobile game. It wasn't exactly that bad but it wasn't great either, it's just okay. And for those who's not familiar with this MMORPG, according to the developers, Eternal Magic is a huge fantasy world with flexible class system, dynamic combat, and epic battles for up to 80 people, a MOBA mode, a party in your mansion, weddings, and guild battles, a killer mix for an incredible adventure that's according to them. Turns out it's not, yeah, it's so killer that the game died. Eternal Magic is released on Steam on April 17, 2020 and it was shut down in January 10, 2022. Next MMORPG that shut down recently is God's War. This is probably one of the most asked MMORPG in my channel. I didn't know this was that popular. People are like, what happened to this game? Well, it shut down in 2022. What is God's War Online? It's a tab target, MMORPG with a colorful Greek mythology theme. In God's War Online, players can embark on questing in a traditional way where you start in the main town, accept the first golden quest you see, follow the quest line, defeat monsters, explore dungeons, and at the end, you will farm and engage in player versus player battles. Now going to God's War Online's old I Got Games main page, which can only be accessed only through the Wayback Machine, they describe the game as the first fully IgG designed and produced 3D MMORPG. Now what makes it stand out from other MMOs is its captivating aesthetics. Notable for its use of vibrant colors, the game's cityscapes are brought to life with a rich palette, painting a lively and inviting atmosphere. Officially, it's dead. It got shut down in June 2022 and the only way to play God's War nowadays is through private servers. God's War was released in December 1, 2007 and was shut down in June 30, 2022. Next MMORPG that went bye-bye officially is Luna Online. This game has been shut down and re-released and shut down and re-released. Well, it got shut down again, the Steam version. Luna Online, it's a tab targeting anime MMORPG. In Luna Online, players are transported to a fantastical world filled with magic and adventure. You can choose to play as one of the races, each with their own unique abilities and traits. Whether you're a human or elf, you'll find a class that will suit your playstyle. 
As you explore this vibrant world, you'll have the opportunity to interact with other players in real time, form parties, and embark on quests and dungeons. Luna Online also places a strong emphasis on community with player-run markets, marriage systems, and guilds. The biggest news regarding Luna Online is the Steam version has shut down. Luna Online Reborn is no longer available officially, even at Suba Games' website. They already removed the game and the only way to play is on private servers and some non-English servers. Luna Online was shut down again but you can still play it on private servers. Next MMORPG that shut down is Order and Chaos. I've been wondering when's the first time I saw this game and I remembered seeing my cousin playing this on a tablet and I was like, it's impressive. It's a fully 3D MMORPG on a tablet. And if you're not familiar with Order and Chaos, it's a multi-platform fantasy MMORPG playable on PC through the Microsoft Store, then Android and iOS. Now the game features five races to choose from, Humans, Elves, Orcs, Undead, and Mendel. There's five classes to choose from at the beginning, which is the Warrior, Monk, Mage, Ranger, and the Flame Knight, which requires a level 70 to be playable. Now, the character customization is very simple. We can change the skin color, hairstyle, hair color, and face features. Ordering Chaos was shut down on February 16, 2023. And the last MMORPG that shut down recently is Terra Online on PC. Last time I checked, it's still up on consoles. And for those who's living under a rock, Terra Online is an action MMORPG released in January 25, 2011 in Korea and in 2012 for North America and EU. It's made in Unreal Engine 3 and you can play it on PC with private servers then you can play the official ones on consoles, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Series X. Terra Online was shut down because the developer Blue Hole decided to end the game's development, leading to the closure announcement. Gameforge, the publisher, expressed its willingness to continue running the game, but due to the developer's decision, shutdown plans were set in motion. As a result, the game was scheduled for shutdown after a decade-long run. And Terra was turned off on PC in June 30, 2022. That's it guys, if I missed an MMORPG that shut down recently, please share it in the comments. And guys, do you want to see the upcoming MMOs of 2023 and beyond? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gimme Hardcore. See you in the next one.